Last summer, prosecutors cleared NFL Hall of Famer Michael Irvin of sexual battery. But tonight, we're hearing some of the evidence that prosecutors relied on in the case, specifically phone calls between Irvin and his accuser. CBS4's Kerry Codd is live in Fort Lauderdale with the exclusive. Kerry. That's right. On this disc released by the Broward State Attorney's Office, we hear a police call recorded and controlled phone calls. Police listening in to calls between the accuser and Michael Irvin, who ostensibly did not know the calls were being recorded. And throughout those calls, Irvin denied any sex took place. This, this being accused of something like this is, this is as devastating as it, as it can be. NFL Hall of Famer Michael Irvin told reporters last summer how relieved he was that Broward prosecutors did not pursue sexual battery charges against him after accusations from a family friend that Irvin raped her inside a room at the W Hotel on Fort Lauderdale Beach. Irvin always maintained his innocence. And now on this CD, we're hearing several phone calls between Irvin and his accuser. The calls were recorded by police as they investigated the case. The Broward State Attorney's Office released the calls. They distorted the woman's voice. The woman who later identified herself at a news conference continued to press Irvin on the calls. Irvin continued to deny the allegation. In one call, Irvin explained what happened in the hotel room after a night of drinking and partying. He said he had to leave early that morning for a flight. Irvin made it clear the damage an allegation like this could do to him. Prosecutors decided not to file charges in this case. They said they did not have enough DNA or physical evidence to prove that a sexual battery occurred. Also, prosecutors cited inconsistent statements from the victim. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News tonight.